Welcome back, cons. My name is Tokriva. This is some more European Rosales 4 Mandate of Heaven. Playing as Manchu with almost no Horde Unity because who cares about that? Apparently, we don't. Um, we have a Mongol Separatist Rebellion going on. They don't even. Thank you, Ming! Ming is the best right now. Ooh, Kodiak gets 200 free people. That means they're nearly finished. In fact, they are so far finished that I'm like, yeah, I'm going to recall and send them to the next one over. And now we can definitely engage them. We do have to deal with that rebellion too, Manchurian Pretenders. Kodiak has grown to become self-sustaining. That is actually quite nice. We are losing money now, right now, though, quite heavily. So I'd rather like to take care of that sea, that army, then unseize this. Ming is running around over here, useful, being useful a little bit. Fine, twelve diplo power now. Um, I could invest in the idea, but I'd rather take the tech. But I'd rather not take the tech right now because it's super expensive. I'm gonna unseize. Hopefully they will have enough people very soon to... Well, once this guy is on siege, I'm just going to send them over here instead. Uh, let's go to speed 3 for a bit. Age of Discovery is nearly ended. The tribes demand more land, and I'm willing to give it to them. I'll give him this one as well. Yeren. Darren, actually. Um, so let's actually see. There should be a states map mode. There's definitely some... Okay, states and territories. Yes, the dark green is states. The, the light green is my home state. And there is actually 100% prosperity in this state. That is quite nice. Uh, do we want to make this a state? I'm not sure. Probably do want to do it with this one. So that would be central Heilongjiang. I will make it a state and I will core everything in it for 106. And this is going to reduce some... Um, well, income has actually gone up. So, and that is, should still go up slightly. That is going up quite fast, actually, right now. How is that? Autonomy is actually low in a few of these, very low. Um, okay, let's cancel that. So that's looking okay. Eventually we will want more states, but of course we need lands from Be Ming, and that is the issue. It's a big issue, getting lands from Ming now. Um, once our army is back home, I will reduce its maintenance a little bit. Okay, now they want military power, which is fine. Since we're nearly capped anyway. I could just finish this and be done with it, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Corruption is actually going down, despite the fact that we don't even... Well, we're barely outrooting it anyway. I think this is fine for the time being. Um, this is going to go up again. Let's face it. Because we are sending out another colonist. It actually should have gone up right now. Now it's four again. But we are coming close to a point where we actually... Ooh, Manchurian Western Alaska. It's now filled up, filled up a bit. So once we finish Yucatan, that will actually give us a entire... Um, Yeah, that should be fine to recall. That is still costing me the maintenance, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would love to get our institution done. But it's a bit pricey. But it's also automatically spreading, so... And that would make us the first one with an institution. It's actually here. 
in the east. Well, beyond feudalism, because Renaissance is still only here. Petter of Bohemia is now the Roman Empire Emperor. That is not something that happens very often. Two more months and Kenai should be done. 39 development. It is crazy. Oh, they still have separatism, some of these. Yeah, I have your diplo point or military points. We are very close to its cap, though. So let's look at development for... I want to get some... Well, we have two nines. Then I want to get to ten, then. I might as well get Ilan Hala to ten as well. Good, it is now... Fully ours. I could spend the Diplo points, that would start taking our corruption down a bit faster because unbalanced research would disappear. But still 719 right now. And 346 would cost me two, four corruption. If we debase. And it would also cost me interest and everything else if we don't do that. It is now also spreading into Ming territory, sadly. And we've been discovered again by Ming that we're spying on them. Um, why, why, why do you have so much of your stuff on our border, sir? I should just stop this for now. It's just not getting us anywhere. I can improve relations with them, though. But why are all your forces on my border? I am a tributary of yours, am I not? I definitely am, yeah. I'm on the third row and most left. It's, there are so many tributaries, it's hard finding us. But it should be fine. I mean, we could go into Korea. It costs us manpower and money, but... I shall reduce inflation. Gives us a slightly better income again. How is... Um, you know what? Rooting out can be done with zero right now. How long is the missionary? It's halfway done. We'd get really fast done if we had someone that could get us more. It's no sense getting a level 1 tax modifier person because we won't have... He won't pay for himself. Mothball of Fort. That should get us somehow positive right now. 350, yeah. This. Why did this go up? Hmm. But I could reform right now and just by spending a lot on corruption that I would then would actually start ticking down a little bit faster again because we would be able to get uh, things done they do have to pay attention to well I could or so you know what screw that just attack the natives instead just get rid of them completely. It should help as well. It's a group of 500, that's also... Yeah, well, 1,000. Hey, how come there's still 200 here? Probably because they retreated. Not 100% sure. This one is nearly done. We might actually get one more before the end of it. Yeah, actually we will. Strangely enough. Oh. I cannot tell you to go explore. In port. Okay, I need to put it in port. 
Um, send it to the new world for a second then. Okay, no, oh, actually I don't have to send it to the new world. I just have to put it in a port somewhere. That's close by. As learned ideas of Confucian philosophy gain more and more ground among the Manchurian nobles. This admin power for stability, cost for 10 years, or military power for yearly army tradition. I'll do the army tradition. Because stability is actually helping me right now quite a bit. There we go. They are available for uh, exploring Northeast Pacific Sea a little bit more. Careful. Aggressive expansion impact down. Our general is dead. I could raise a host, but that's going to cost me more maintenance. Horses are expensive in maintenance. New land claimed Sakhalin. Um, definitely tax income then. That is 0.6 extra. So, is it monthly or yearly income? No, that is monthly. Mm hmm. Oh, I could make it mention. That's only 30 diplo power. Hello. Let's actually look at that. Culture. Sissigar. That's cheap to turn into Manchu. Let's just do that. Turn it all into Manchu. I have some Diplo power to spend. It's of course a little bit expensive because of the corruption, but still. Ming, what are you doing? Please just fall apart already. Our relations will worsen. We are disloyal towards them. I mean, probably if all their rebellions should uh, interact. If all... Wow, Mengyang, Tibet. That's actually sizable. But we do need to conquer. Probably Korea. But then... Uh, this... No, there is... That's the other way we could reform, you know? It's just... Um, have economic, innovative, administrative. One of those three. Have high horde unity. That's the one we would need. High horde unity. And that is just going on a conquering spree. And in the meantime, finish an idea group of admin that we first need admin tech for to get, anyway. So, innovative would still would always be good. Uh, economic is good. Administrative is probably, for us, the weaker one to get. I mean, the core creation cost is quite nice. The number of states here in the east can also be very useful. Noble family requests aid. I will actually give you up admin power to not have to go take a loan. It's not spreading fast enough. Well, it will spread to Ferdin really fast now. Here by friendly province, and it's quite high because of the amount of development. There's also why Yukjin is going faster in this one too. 0.16. Yes, you are done. Go and explore the coasts. That is basically the entire eastern seaboard. Not bad, not bad at all. And we can indeed purchase an ability 18 months before the end. Claims, bordering claims? Sure, let's get a claim on something Korean. Han Xiong. Now we claim like the top five provinces here. That's a state. That's some interesting state shapes, I'd say. Oh, we would need to have it be Tengri before we can convert it in culture as well.
Well, the coast has been discovered. There's actually no native tribe on the coast right now. Even the Haichi decided to move out. Yes, I think it's them. The civil war in Bengal. I would like a civil war in Ming. I wonder what will happen. Yeah, their mandate is really high, which gives them unrest reduction. Hmm. High meritocracy, celestial reforms. I think the only way we can beat Ming is to rival their complete army. It's the only way. Just because they won't have, they, they don't really have any allies. They just have 102,000 troops. Wow, we're, we are the second biggest army in in Asia anyway. So maybe reforming the government before turning into king might actually be the better idea. Let's go to Pyongyang. I mean, that means I need to take on Korea. So, we're going to increase maintenance and decrease colonial for now. We want some growth, so we can drop it down to zero completely. This is my most expensive state by far. I think with this amount we can take him on because we will be looting stuff as well. Okay, let's just let's go for it. Um, take capital to humiliate. Well, I will want to humiliate. Oh crap. Let's attack the natives here now, while we're here, and have maximum value. Spread of Confucian ideals. Um, tech goes down, admin power. I'll take the base tax and the base production for now. Even though we are soon going to take some more stuff. Um, make sure the fort is active. And let's just go. I want Huangzhou. Also, I kind of need a leader. Fine, one, one, one. Quite weak, but no way around it right now. I wouldn't mind them trying to take my fort right now, because I can then get a defensive bonus there. And I will. Zero, zero. Wow, we even have a better... That's actually even better. Okay, yeah, I can keep him there now. We get the defensive bonus and a mountain... Oh, yes. Mountainous terrain as well. They have military tech on us, though. There's a lot of cavalry shock in that one as well. That is not good. That means I need to take the tech. But taking the tech will increase my corruption again. And I would have to take both of these. Yeah, I will have to take this now. Just for the war's sake. And corruption is going up again because imbalanced research is now humongous. I can actually almost take the next one as well. Apparently one of my neighbors was already on 9. I cannot even get to that province right now.
And with my cavalry amount and the shock we now gained from that attack level, that should actually be really helpful. But of course that happens. We are looting money from the capital though. Hey, a disease outbreak, how fun. Are you going to uns- yeah, he's just going to unseage. And another disease outbreak, are you kidding me? And here it is, the Age of Reformation. From east to west, this is the Age of Religious Conviction. Debates and mass movements in Europe, Protestantism is entrenched while millenarianism millenarianism takes hold of Iran and religious syncretism shapes Indian society. Now, let's have a look at that next time. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.